Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Mountain Meadow Arms review. Today we have a very cool pistol to review. It is the HNK USP CO2 gas pistol, non blowback by Umarex. Um, first of all, I'd like to say the design of the USP is a very neat design. It's very comfortable um, and works well for multiple things. It fits in holsters regularly. It's not, people haven't like seen the design yet, so they don't really know about it. But in my opinion, it's a really cool design and feels really good at hand. So let's get into the review. It is a CO2 pistol that you can get for about $50 online or at Sports Authority and stuff. I got mine at Sports Authority. And we'll start with the mag. The mag is a high quality uh, kind of plastic, really hard. And there is your valve nozzle right there big and high quality like high flow this guy is just your spring which you can take and run down it doesn't lock at the bottom which is one thing i don't like but whatever your co2 goes right in there and you use the supplied allen key a big huge monster like that one to take off that bottom plate you put your co2 in there and you're good. Now, one thing I would like to say is I have to return this today because when I put one of my Crossman CO2 cartridges in here last night, it, it just started pouring out the nozzle. Like the nozzle was stuck or something. So it's like broken, which isn't good at all. So I'm returning this gun. But I that was the only time I had that trouble with it, so I think it's a pretty good gun, and I think it was just this one, because I've seen a lot of reviews online about this gun, and they have not had that happen yet, but that's just one thing to look out for with the mag, is the CO2, I put it in there, started tightening it down, got it really tight, and it just started pouring CO2 out the top. Wasn't a fun experience, and I froze my hand up. Yes, I froze it. And here is the Allen key, nothing special, just big L Allen key. So yeah, move that to the side. So now let's get into the gun. The gun is constructed of all metal, except the trigger. The trigger is metal. And it's got a very nice feel to it at hand. Um, one thing I will point out to get it started with is the trigger has a super long trigger pull. So it takes forever for the to pulling it for it to finally come back, which I don't like. And I've had that problem even more so on that Glock right there. That is terrible. So I'll be selling that on eBay uh, like very soon. So check that out if you're interested and I'll do a review on it. Um, next, you have your safety right here. It's a very nice safety and looks cool with the white and red on it. Um, and it's very comfy. If you're holding it like this, if you're right-handed, you just take your thumb and you can flip that little safety lever up, which is really handy, especially if it's in a holster. Um, sights are plastic, but it's two dots and one dot in the front, which is kind of cool. It has a fake hammer that does come back when you pull the trigger, so it's like a double action kind of, but the trigger or the hammer does nothing and you pull it and it's just flimsy and weak. Next, onto this side, you've got some trademarks right there. Oh yeah, this thing is fully licensed by H&K from Umarex. Umarex, 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 they're awesome. And so yeah, fully licensed by Umarex and all that great jazzing stuff. So yeah, it even has a serial number on it. I never registered mine because I have to now take it back, which kind of sucks. The front of it is regular, you got your big old orange flash rider. Now the slide does not move, like at all. Slide doesn't move, it just stays in place, which is one kind of down thing. This guy, like everyone shows you, pushes down a little bit like that. But that's about all. So this gun is pretty good for CQB skirmishers, but if you really want a good gun for anything, you don't go CO2. You have to go with green gas, or propane in my case, because I just ordered the CQB Master Alpha from Evike, and that'll be coming soon. And that is to kind of like replace this gun, and I'll actually have a good gas pistol. Um, so CO2 is not your way to go. The grip 
is a kind of checkered board meat tenderizer looking dealy deal on um, both sides which actually it's pretty comfortable mag release which I really like is underneath the trigger guard and it's this big kind of piece right there as you can see so that means it's not gonna snag on your holster like my P226 right there that always snagged on the lever and my magazine would come flying out when I decided to run when my leg holster was attached so that's kinda why I got this one is so it wouldn't come flying out and yeah so the only moving working parts are the safety and the trigger because none of this other stuff works at all supposedly there is a way if you, I think don't quote me if you take that piece out right there but I think no that doesn't move at all there's some way to take the slide off actually but I'm not gonna do it because I'm returning it so yeah now with this gun you can use your Walmart BBs your cheap ones like that you also can use high quality ones for better flight and better accuracy I did try that um, but you can use your little ones I would recommend point twos instead of point one twos that helps a lot um, so yeah and then just use Crossman CO2 cartridges and all that good stuff so thanks for watching the review of the HNK USP gas pistol co2 by mountain meadow rc like subscribe comment any questions just email us at mountainmeadowarms at gmail.com so thanks for watching again see you next time bye